uh, Miles Barry, uh, <laughs> along with Hilary Barry, uh, from their living room, it looks like. Hi, team. <laughs> hi, hi, John. Hi, everybody. Hello. Uh, we've got Bill uh, Hall, uh, Harwood hi. and Tricia Davidson, who we heard from earlier on in your... Hi. Are you in your, your loft, looks like? No, you just have very low oh, ceiling. Yeah, my loft studio, yeah. Your loft studio, there we go. Uh, and we've also got uh, Paul Zavadsky, uh, who is Bungie-based. Hi, Paul. Yeah. Hi, yeah. And your room in the background looks far more exciting than everyone else's because uh, you've got all sorts of uh, wires and cables and buttons. Uh, yeah, you could talk to uh, to Mission Control. Certainly, we could. Uh, so, so welcome, one and all. Um, it was a, a delight to come up and and see the work uh, in the space. What's been the the kind of footfall uh, like, Miles? Have people come and uh, enjoyed uh, the, the the show so far? Yeah, um, I think it's been uh, very positive. Uh, a number of people have been there, some very good feedback. Um, obviously, in the run-up to Christmas, some people have their thoughts on other things. But, uh, yeah, there's been a steady trickle of visitors. Very, very promising. Uh, I can thoroughly recommend the chips uh, from the chip shop just opposite the Freeney Gallery uh, and a nice walk down to the beach. Uh, you know, a beautiful atmosphere and beautiful scenery. There's uh, lots of other things to explore around Pakefield as well. Uh, so it's well worth... Um, and it was only actually about a 12-minute cycle ride from Lastoff train station. So, you know, that, that's my bit for uh, uh, sustainable transport tourism stroke for Pakefield. Uh, we will uh, see. We go. Have you got? Uh, you're joined uh, in your studio there, Paul, uh, by Ali, presumably. Hi, Ali. Hi, Ex- Hi. And they're all on the Zoom, so they can see each other and smile. Uh, Hilary, let's start with you. Then tell me a little bit about the pieces that you've got uh, exhibiting now. Um, oh, we got yeah, a dog as well. Brilliant. <laughs> yeah, uh, they're all landscapes, um, but mine landscapes are not um, sort of representations of what you see their sort of experiences and feelings and I want people when they look at them to um, think about what they've seen and where they've been that they're not literal in any way I mean I, f- I feel like we're all passing through really a s- the same space and um, it's what we take with us and that during lockdown it was very much about like the p- places that mean the most to me, but I couldn't remember them specifically. So these are the places I came up with for the show. Um, and I originally was born, I was born in Wales and I've lived in lots of different places, Birmingham, Hereford, all over London, traveled a lot. And these are kind of the, things that I take with me, the remnants of my travels and my experiences. Okay, so you collect landscapes and kind of um, moments in time maybe that you connect with that particular landscape. Yeah, yes, yes. It's usually sort of an emotional connection rather than a literal. I like like, um, trying to see what is actually there, sort of how I feel about a place and what I take with me. I was thinking when I was sat eating my chips on on Pakefield Beach, um, I I like places where you get lots of people kind of um, experiencing different things in the same place. So I'm fascinated by watching people at airports and at train stations because some people are overjoyed and very happy and some people are very sad and some people are very stressed uh, and some people are looking forward to something, you know, all, you know, sat on the same bench looking at the same, uh, you know, timetable board. Uh, And the same is true of of beaches. So I was delighted to have half an hour to myself to eat some chips and not look at my phone and have no one bother me. Uh, And that was lovely. Um, Other people maybe would go to the beach for... Uh, I don't know, to, to clear their head because they're they're stressed and they're feeling upset. Some people might have to take their dog for a walk and the beach is very mundane and, and routine to them. So, again, the landscapes that you're you're collecting will mean lots of different things to lots of different people, even if they were stood in the same place that you were. It also means sort of many different things to me, like the beach you were at. Um, I've been there with my grandchildren I've been there for the first light exhibition. I've been there with friends. I've been there in all kinds of weathers. So it kind of, there's an overlay of memory 
an experience. It's not just what's then. And it's also sort of thinking about people from the past, what it was like 20 years ago, 50 years ago, 100 years ago. Uh, and, and just those changes really sort of uh, interest me. And again, that spot on, on Pakefield Beach with the, the thatched church there, um, that's, yes. that's been a, a kind of static moment in time. Um, you know, if you don't look at the beach huts or the, or the um, mobile phone masts and stuff that you can see, then, you know, that would be the same for, <laughs> for, for centuries, yeah. Which, yeah. Is, which is really interesting. <laughs> 